Hello and welcome back to another video right here with Chris G. So today, I just wanted to talk to you all about what I take with me when I go out and I sketch. What is in my, what are my travel art supplies? So whenever I go out, uh, and which I love to do, I love to get outside and sketch. It's a newfound thing and it's like just blowing my mind. I usually, uh, when, you know, most of the time when I did art starting off, and I've been doing art for a long time. I mean, not like in a professional manner, but you know, always putting pen to paper and, and drawing something, creating something. But it's always been an inside, very contained, very personal thing. And uh, I'm sure if you're an artist out there, you understand what I'm saying in that your art is like your children. It's something that's very, uh, that you're very attached to. So sometimes it's hard to take your art and move it outside for people to see especially when you're doing it, uh, just for the simple fact that it's, it's so dear to us personally as artists, or it's so dear to me, uh, just speaking for myself, something that's very connected to me. So uh, I just started going outside, <laughs> get out of the dungeon, the, uh, <laughs> the art station dungeon and got out into the light and uh, started to, you know, take this stuff with me when I go around and move around town and just sketch on the go. And it's been a very great experience. So I just wanted to show you all what I take with me when I go out and I do some watercolor or some sketching. So first I just go over the biggest items and then we'll go into detail. So I have all of my utensils right here, my watercolor palette, of course, you need some type of uh, napkin or sponge to wipe off your brushes, your sketchbook, and I like to keep a bottle of water with me at all times. I refilled this bottle of water. This is just a, a bottle that I dr drank the water out of a long time ago, but then I filled it with tap water. I put this in the pocket of my backpack to uh, refill my bucket. Speaking of, last but not least, you also need something to put your water in, and this is the bucket that I take with me. First, let's look at the utensils that I take. So we'll put this to the side. This is a Saike, Sakai, Sakai uh, 24, I don't know what these things are called, uh, pen holder, pencil holder. So let's open it up. So right now, these are the materials that I take with me every time I go out and sketch. We'll start from right to, and go to the left. Uh, this is the Pentel Graph Gear 1000, which is a mechanical pencil. Inside of this pencil, I have 2H lead. So I tried to get the softest lead that I could get because when I sketch and I paint, I like to I don't like the, the pencil to show through, so I try to use as soft of a lid as I can get. Uh, next, I have the hybrid gel. Let me see if I can get this. The hybrid gel grip white pen. Uh, this is an alternative to the jelly roll, which is a, a, a very uh, popular pen created by Sakura of Japan. I just use my jelly roll pretty often, so. I wanted to try something new. Next, I have the Pilot Prera. And as you can see, this Pilot Prera is pretty much empty. It's no ink in here because I used all of it. Pilot Prera, which is a uh, fountain pen. And it's a, a special pen because it has this calligraphy nib or music nib, as they're called. Next, I have this Angelo. I don't know if it's Michelangelo or if it's somebody just named Angelo because this is a very, very cheap mop brush. It was about like a, a dollar US, but I, I love it. It works out really well. Uh, it does not come to a sharp tip like some other brushes, but I mean, it was cheap. But I keep this mop brush because it's a great size. Uh, this size too is a great size for an A5 paper, A4, A5 size paper. So I keep that as one of the brushes that I use. I put it in the center because this is the longest uh, brush that I have, and this is the longest area of the uh, the longest area of the pad. 
Uh, next, I have this Twisby Eco. Uh, fine nip, fine tip fountain pen. And all of the reviews for all of these uh, products uh, will be in either the description or at the end of the video. So stay tuned and you can get links to that. Uh, check those out. So yeah, that's that. The Twisby Eco. I like to draw with this pen, uh, but I really like to write with this pen. This is a very nice writing pen. Uh, next I have the Hero Fude Nib. So you can see the Fude Nib on it. Uh, this is the Hero 9018. A Chinese fountain pen. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite fountain pens to sketch with uh, for the line variations that it gives. Next I have the Pentel pocket brush pen. A staple. I think this is this is something that's always going to stay with me. Fun to sketch with. Uh, you get a lot of line variations. It's one of my favorite pens to use. Moving on. This is a 4H H, a 4H uh, Stedler, yeah, Stedler, 4H uh, Stedler pencil. Again, soft lead makes it easy to sketch with and the lines stay really light. Then I have the Pentel Aquash uh, brush pen, size large. I, I usually keep the pens, uh, the I just refill it. Every time I go out, before I go out, I make sure I put water inside of it. These also come with caps like this. And what it is, you can take the, the head of this off and you can cap it and it keeps the water inside. But the only thing is, is when I'm using this uh, pencil case, there's nowhere to, uh, well, I just feel like I can, I don't have to do that. So I just keep it filled up with water and I just keep it right there. And then last but not least, I have the Escoda Versatile Size 6 uh, Pocket Brush. So this Escoda Versatile is a, a nice addition. Um, if I don't want to use something as large as this mop brush, but I don't want to use a synthetic, um, well, I mean, this is synthetic, but I don't want to use a aqua brush. If I want to use water, uh, this is a pretty nice, uh, a pretty nice addition to have. I do wish I would have got the size eight instead of six because I feel like it can get kind of small. All right, rolling that up. That's the utensils that I take with me every time I go out, and they do change. So, <laughs> if I make this video in a couple weeks, it probably will be different things inside of that. I like to try new things out just to see if I like it. Uh, of course, you need some type of sponge or paper towel. I usually get uh, a nice little, you know, a couple sheets of paper towels and I fold it up and just throw it in the bag. This is one thing I constantly forget when I get out. Sometimes I'll remember the water, which is another thing I forget all the time. A watercolor sketcher and I forget water. But uh, napkins is the other thing. So I'll start sketching and then I try to go change colors and wipe off my brush. And next thing I know, I got to use like, I just got to flick the water off of it because I don't have anything to wipe it down with. Uh, next, I have my palette that I put together. This is the sell it, uh, sell it. second palette of colors that I've put together. Uh, this is a mix of Daniel Smith and uh, a mix of Daniel Smith and Mission Gold colors. And yeah, and this is the palette that I use. I'll be making a video about this soon, once I use it some more. But that's my palette. It's inside of a schminky watercolor box, the travel box. Makes it very easy to use, as you can see. Small size, fits in the palm of my hand. And um, I can take it and I can use it wherever I need to. So, very easy to travel with, uh, very easy to use. Right now, I'm using this uh, Stillman & Burn Beta Series watercolor sketchbook. And I haven't filled this thing up. I actually, I just recently started it 
I'm about, as you can see, you can kind of see where the paper's warped at. I guess a third of the way through it, about. I take this sketchbook with me. This is the second sketchbook that I've used. Uh, before this one, I used the uh, Moleskin watercolor album landscape sketchbook. So this is the first sketchbook that I've used, uh, well, for watercolor, let me put it like that. Not the first sketchbook I've ever used like this, but the first watercolor sketchbook I've ever used in portrait style. And then uh, I also use these clips. I call them fancy clips because it's really just a nice version of these clips. Even though I, I like these clips a little more because of this, uh, it's solid right here. These clips are not solid, so sometimes they can turn on your uh, sketchbook. So it can end up like this or like that because there's nothing in this area. This will always be flat against whatever you put it on. So I call these the fancy clips and they just look nice. But what they're used for is when you're using the sketchbook and you open up the pages, but you take the clip and you put the clip on the paper like so. And what that does is if the wind's blowing, you're not gonna get your pages flipping on you. So that's what these clips are for. And you clip one side, you clip the other side. Keeps the pages from flying around on you. And when you're not using them, you can clip your sketchbook closed. They do leave grooves in the sketchbook because uh, for these, it's a pretty tight fit. Stillman and Burn Beta Series Sketchbook. And last but not least, every time I go out, I make sure I take a small spray bottle of water. So what I use this for is to re-wet my paints in my palette. If I forget this, then I can use my uh, the aqua watercolor brush and if you squeeze the watercolor brush, you can get drops of water that come out. So you can wet the, your palette like that. But uh, if you plan on using the aqua brush, then you're squeezing the water out that you're going to end up trying to use. So you end up, you know, depleting your water pretty quickly, which is where this comes in. With this spray bottle, I can just spray the uh, watercolor palette as, as much as I want to because it doesn't use a lot of water. And I don't have to use uh, the water from my aqua brush if I still want to use it. And then last, this is the uh, a three chamber watercolor. I mean, a three chamber bucket, a water bucket that I travel with. So when I use my bottle of water, I put the water into these these chambers, and uh, this is what I use as my water container. The good thing about this is, is that most of the time I keep this one closed and I put it on there like that. So I got two containers of water, one clean, one for dirty water. They collapse down and then I throw it in my bag. Okay, so these are the things that I take with me. This is my travel art kit. These are my travel art supplies that I take with me every time I go out and I do some plain air sketching or some plain air watercolor. Uh, urban sketching. This is what I take with me. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I'll make sure I link reviews to most of these uh, most of these different things uh, that I showed you in the video down below in the description. So make sure you check those out. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you uh, want to see more videos from this channel, because I'll be releasing a lot of videos, especially reviews and art tips and tricks make sure you hit that subscribe button which should be uh, on this page <laughs> coming up and if you have any questions about any of these uh, products that I'm using or anything in this video just leave them down in the comments below and I'll be sure to get back to you thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed talk to you later peace